Hi student. So today we will be doing uh, from four signs. Uh, we will do some revision. Um, this is not a KBAT question. So um, let me just give it this word. Um, chapter two, uh, part one, okay. The, today we are going to do just a, as a normal routine day, we are going to do some question because it's better to learn by question rather than just learn by reading notes. Because sometimes you know that student will read and read, sometimes they just read and read and, and highlight, but actually that is the, not the correct way to do revision. That's why when they continue to read, but they they cannot score well. That, that is not the correct way. The correct way to do revision is actually to do question, uh, read question, do the answer, read, do, read, do, okay? And you get used to the question in the exam. Table one shows the survival rate of patients who receive CPR outside the hospital. The survival rate of average patient with one major health condition is about 100%. And continue on, number of major health condition one, survival means 100% survive, means if you do CPR for the major health condition, have only one, so rate is 100%. And for number two is 90 and number three is 75. So actually this question uh, is like very funny, you know, because if you do CPR, usually the person is not breathing, correct or not? But here say 100% means, I don't know lah, huh? but sometimes question is just like that. They just ask like that because they, they, they just want to ask different things because we can continue on, we read. State the variable that involves manipulated variable. So what are the manipulated variable? The answer for this one is here, number of major health condition. This is the answer. So number of health condition, how I know this answer? Actually manipulated variable means something that you want to manipulate to change in order to do the experiment. So the thing that you want to change, actually if there is a table, like a table, usually on the left side is the manipulated, usually, okay, manipulated, almost actually 99%. And on the another side will be the responding. If you just, if you forget, you just remember like this. The left side will be the manipulator, the right side will be the responding. Same like a table goes like this, okay? For example, the table is uh, month, for example. And this one is the percentage, for example. So let's say one, two, three, the answer is blah, 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 blah. The top part will be the manipulator. And the bottom part here will be the responding. It will be like 99%. Either the manipulator will be on for this table, it will be always on the left, responding on the right. And for this time, for this table, it will be on top. And the bottom part will be the responding variable. Okay. So the manipulator is the number of major health condition. The this is responding, uh, this one I type wrongly, okay? Responding variable will be the, what is it? It will be the, this part, okay? Average rate of survival by percentage. So you just copy this and then you will go ahead, get your answer correct. So just let me write this down in the blue pen. Okay average survival rate okay easy so probably here we we'll get one mark here another one you will get one more mark based on table three draw a bar chart to show the survival against the number of health so we can see that um it's not given here but we can see from this question draw a bar chart to show survival rate against the number of health usually for a graph on this part, it will be the manipulator. You just remember, okay? This part is manipulator. X, uh, the X axis is always the manipulator. The Y axis will be always the responding. 
So in order to get this right, we first thing we want to do is we want to get the position right from here. So the manipulated one, let's look at this graph is one, two, three. So probably I will do something like here is one. I mean, I just write here, right? So this one is one, um, one. I just write here one first. Around here, lah, huh? here to here is one. Here to here, I will write is two. And here to here will be three. Okay. Uh, before I forget, um, I won't get marked because I didn't write down the the what I mean the the thing the x, x exists mean what one ringgit two ringgit three ringgit it means what it actually means the number of major health conditions so I just maybe just want to copy this down put it here put it properly in place down a bit down a bit here okay and here is the responding variable so i just copy this one and put it down here okay so this one you don't write down ah ah so i delete this ah. i scared you confused so i just delete this okay it's supposed to be like this okay now we want to write the unit for one it will be 100%. So one will be 100%. I draw around here to here. Okay. Nowadays, technology makes things life a lot simpler. Okay. For number two is 90. For number three is 75. So this one is for 90. And this one is 70. You see this one is 70, right? If I do here, it will be wrong maybe 75 uh, here is 70 right so it's wrong it is 75 up up a bit okay if you look closer so i just do like this and i just draw it properly something like this and you will get your full mark so the mark will be given based upon your this one must be correct your labeling and your unit and it's only two mark lah. So probably the unit and the labeling is correct. It will get the two mark. Based on the finding, predict the survival rate with four or four or major health condition if CPR is given. So this is three. He asked us to predict. Probably four will be around here. Correct or not? Four. So if I put four around here, it will be lesser than around here. It will be lesser around here or maybe here sorry around here like, like a staircase so i would say that the condition will be below 75 percent okay so you just need to write down the answer okay below 75 percent so this okay so that's it for this question hope to see you on the next video bye bye